Hello everybody, I am Griffin the Bard, and here is actually something different. This is a guide, because I have this program you can see on the screen right here called Morales Action. And while it's a great recording program, sometimes it's not. And it's stupid, it doesn't understand how to, it doesn't work, it doesn't explain itself very well. So this video is going to be a quick explanation on how to use the... Wait. 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 Uh, where is it? Here we go. The record microphone and separate audio track. So basically, a lot of people, including me, want to be able to have a separate track for the game audio, or whatever audio, and your audio, the microphone audio. But using this function, if you just use it straight up and don't do anything else with it, will give you one video, and then when you export it, it'll give you one video, and then if you in here, it just gives you the one video, and there's nothing else that you can do with it. And even if you watch it, like here's a video that I pre-recorded that has nothing, it won't make any sound. But it's really weird because it doesn't technically tell you why or what, but this function actually does work, just not very well. So basically, if you, if you start the video, if you hit the A button, it'll go back and forth between the tracks. And if you notice, um, if there was music in the background or something, it would be, it automatically goes to the game audio. If you hit A, it plays the, your microphone audio. I don't know why it does that, you can hit A repeatedly, it goes back and forth between the two. That still doesn't help you because it's too chaotic. you still can't put that in your videos. So, this is sort of the sad part. You have to download something, but you don't have to really download it. You can only sort of download it. It's, it's really weird. Go to the internet and download this program called DXTORY. I'll probably put a link to it in the description, but Dixtory or whatever, however you want to pronounce it. Dixtory. I don't know what this program actually does, because see, what you do is you go on the internet and you download it, and then once you download the thing, it'll say like, oh hey, do the whole installation thing. But do not do that, or you can do it if you want to, but you don't have to. You can just get this little thing. See, like if I click on it, yes, all that, mm-hmm. See, it'll tell me, it, like, it wants me to do all this stuff. You don't need to do it. You don't even need to use the trial or anything. Just don't even do it at all. Just have this up here. Because what you can do is you can go to the unedited, like unexported version. Like you don't, you don't, don't put it in MP4. Just keep it in AVI. Just have it right up here. You once you have the program installed, you right click, and then it should appear. Say extract audio stream. Now if you click that, it'll make two things. One of them being the background audio. Like I said, there's no audio for that one, so there's just silence. And the other one being microphone audio. So basically, the original video and the microphone audio. And the original video has the game audio. So there you go. You have both of your audio tracks. Put them in your audio system. It'll work just fine. Automatically lines up. It's great. Um, personally, if I if, if anyone from Real Action is watching this, fix that because it's stupid that you have to have a different program for this function to work. It's, it's really stupid, but that's how you do it. That's just some useful tips on how to use that function in Morales Action. Because I had to scour the internet to find out how to do that. It's just, it's not cool. But yeah, that's it. Um, if you like this episode, uh, feel free to like and subscribe and share with your friends, the most important part. And that's it. Uh, this is my first and probably only guide video to using Morales Action, because I don't even know how to use it very well. But um, Griffin the Bard, signing out.